Hi, we here at the Loss of Jim's Day represent victims of sexual harassment. We've done that for the last 15 years. We come up with many common issues. One of the common issues we find is that when a person is sexually harassed, they don't tell anybody. They don't confide in their coworkers, they don't confide in their spouse, they don't tell the employer. It keeps ratcheting up, ratcheting up, and so finally they just break and they come see us. One of the first questions I ask is, did you tell your employer? Because under the law, if the employer is not aware of it, then they don't have any duty to correct it. And really what you want if you've been sexually harassed is you want your employer to step in and go ahead and correct the situation and remedy the situation. And so what we say in those cases is even if you didn't initially report it, if it started ratcheting up and ratcheting up, just because you didn't report it the first time doesn't mean you can't report it now. We highly recommend that you follow the policies and procedures of the company. Go ahead and report the sexual harassment and give your company the chance to do the right thing. Give your company the opportunity to come forward and deal with the harassment, deal with the harasser, and make sure that it doesn't happen again and make sure that you can continue to work in a safe workplace. Very similarly, when you confide in a coworker and that's the only person that you tell, that's not enough. Or if you're a coworker and someone comes to you and confides in you and says, hey, this sexual harassment's happening, but don't tell anybody, most of the time what you as a coworker are gonna do is listen to the person that told you that. You're not gonna betray that person's confidence. You're not gonna go running to the company and say that this sexual harassment is occurring. And frankly, as a coworker, if someone comes to you and says, hey, I'm being sexually harassed, but don't tell anybody, that's a choice that you can make. A choice you can make as to whether or not and, and go ahead and uh, listen to your person's witches who told you that, or whether you go back to the person who was the harasser and say, look, I understand you told me not to tell anybody, but this is serious. This is a violation of the company policy. I'll go with you, we can go together, I'll support you, and we'll report this together. That's what I'd recommend. The idea is to get sexual harassment out of the workplace and to get these people who do this out of the workplace. Anything you can do as a coworker or someone who's been harassed to make that happen, I think is a positive thing.